Good girl. I'll see you later, my tiny little sweetie pie ant. What a surprising ant! Yes, it is a Carabara Bruni from Sri Lanka, the world's smallest ant. It must be the smallest thing on the planet. What? <laughs> oh! oh, Bruni! Where are you, girl? Then how will we find her? Let's shrink to her size so we can find her more easily. There it is! It looks like it got stuck in a drop of water. Hang in there, Bruni! <laughs> I think the water ruined Al's invention. What happened? Where are we? Take it easy. It's the water molecules, H2O. I think the ray gun malfunctioned and shrunk us to molecular size. Maybe if I make a few adjustments, it will work. I'm afraid so. We're down to atom size. Everything you can imagine is made of atoms. Oh. Well, at least this is as small as we can get, right? I'm afraid not. With the particle accelerator, scientists found proof that inside of atoms, there are quarks. They are so small that you can't even see them with a microscope. Really? But no! You can't see a thing! What is this? Those are the particles that spin around the atom. The neutrons, protons, and those... <laughs> Don't tell me. These are the electrons. Electrons! Hector, you're a genius! We will use the energy of those electrons to go back to our original size. Hold on! <laughs> wow! What a fantastic voyage! But what happened to Bruni? 